We are hearing from Congressman Juan Vargas. He came to San Ysidro last Thursday after visiting with Mexico's president and president-elect. He had hoped to encourage the leaders to address the sewage crisis that's plaguing both the U.S. and Mexico. And I had a chance to speak with him exclusively one-on-one -on -one at the now broken down International Wastewater Treatment Plant, one of the many reasons 40 million gallons of sewage is spewing into our oceans every day. Congressman Vargas, we're here at the wastewater treatment plant, obviously standing above all of this, and it stinks. Um, what's your reaction whenever you come see this? It's overwhelmed, it's broken apart. Yeah. Um, tell me your thoughts about all of this. Well, first of all, it's sad. I mean, it was hard building this facility here. We fought hard to get the facility, and then to find out that the maintenance they were supposed to be doing, they didn't do, and that it's falling apart, that's very disappointing. The last two international boundary and water commissioners they told us things were going great, you know, this thing's going to happen. And all of a sudden we find out they weren't doing anything. And, and that really is too bad. But I have a lot of faith in the new commissioner. With the new leadership and more money that's coming in, uh, let's talk about that. You've been fighting to get that funding to repair this, but also to be able to double its capacity, right? That's right. So we want to double the capacity here. And so we've been fighting for the money. And we've gotten about $400 million. We still need more money. But the truth is, and this is what a lot of people don't talk about, but the truth is that we can never build a facility big enough here. We can't. You know, they, on their side, on the Mexican side, they have to build a facility there too. They have to treat their water too. Now, what about the concern of people's health, not just by going in the water, yeah. breathing it in, breathing this air? I know there's the South Bay Urgent Care. Those doctors have been seeing a lot of issues. What's being done about that? So all of it's tied, of course, to the sewage. I do think that it is a health hazard and a health issue. That's why I've asked the president. That's why I've asked for this emergency declaration. Will the CDC start monitoring this? I hope so. <clears throat> We're trying to force the government, federal government, to do more. At the moment, they say, you know, it's, it's just smell. No, you know, it, it's a hazard, for God's sakes. We need an emergency declaration. We need that. Um, we can't get it. So we're pissed. I know the effort's been made for the state, federal government to declare a state of emergency. Why is that so important? Well, because it frees up money. At the end of the day, it's all about money, right? And so we need more money. We need urgency. Um, one of the things that they've been able to do on the Mexican side that we can't on this side is skip a lot of the environmental review. I mean, yeah, I, I get it. You know, we have to have environmental reviews, and I'm in favor of always have been. But when you have an emergency, just fix the damn problem. You know, there's another environmental emergency. It's called human beings. You know, we're we're really making them sick. Let's let's go. Let's move. Let's skip over some of this stuff. But on our side, we can't. If you have an emergency declaration, then you can, because there's enough money to get things going. But we can't do it if you got to go through all these reviews. Um, we've talked to a lot of families who are worried about their kids, their grandparents, all getting sick by breathing the air. They've left the school district yeah. because of it. Do you blame them? I mean, this we don't know what we're breathing even right now. I don't blame them at all. I mean, I've been around this enough to let you know that oftentimes, you know, especially when I'm down in Tijuana, just to be honest with you, you, you get down there by this plant and you get a headache. This thing has to get fixed. That's the real, the, all the things that the people are feeling here are real. They're real. They're not imaginary. They're real. And we got to fix them.